shit with my boys, man. My brother shooting video. DG Bow Boy. You know what I'm saying? Him and Ricky P, man. Ain't knocking out of a video, man. I mean, my neighbor, I was one of my old neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? While I was running around, while I learned a lot of shit at. I was like six, seven years old. I got kicked out of the elementary school over there. I was like in the third grade. I fought too much. I was always fighting, like, and starting shit, like. And then my homeboy, uh, 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 what was his name? Some kid. Hey, Bo, who's the lead there, bro? I cannot. Keyshawn on the blood. On God. My nigga Keyshawn. Where that tree right there? Same tree. Keyshawn stayed right there, him and his sister and them. I broke in, uh, probably like fifth grade, fourth, no, like third grade. Um, I don't know, I didn't probably whooped a couple niggas. And my mama stayed with a, my mama had a boyfriend that stayed on the corner and shit like that. And I stayed right down here. Crazy shit, true story. I stayed right down here. He used to come over there, fuck my mama and shit, you know, fuck my mama on that type of shit. I used to go to his house. He got like three, he had three brothers. He like might want the oldest or the middle. That nigga went to the pen and everything. True story. The niggas, I was in their house chilling one night. I grabbed a little 38. Cause I was finna bust a nigga ass for fucking with me. Like, playing with me. I ain't play with niggas. I'm talking about since a young, I always been toe up in the head. So I took a gun to school. They done told the people, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even, no, I ain't, no, I did, I lied. I never took it to school. I brought it over here and hid it under some shit. And I told a nigga, like, man, I'll shoot your bitch. I'm gonna kill your bitch ass. But I didn't call the police on me. I done ran out of school, ran over here. I jumped in the tree because the police was coming around the corner fast. I wasn't gonna be able to make it to my house. I jumped in the tree and climbed the tree. So many police officers was in and out this bitch looking for me. Because, you know, I said, I'm gonna shoot this kid. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. And that was, that was a true story. I never was able to go back to that motherfucker. I got kicked out. I, I never went back. It wasn't no teacher conference. It wasn't no, it wasn't no shit like nothing. It was like, if I step back on foot of that motherfucker, I'm going, I'm finna go straight to juvenile. I ended up going to juvenile a few times after that, but just still like, that shit is just a crazy story, man. So we shooting the video out here. So when I tell y'all like, first down was like what everybody wanted to be like. I grew up in Hanger Hill, but like out here, I was out here before I went to Hanger. I went to Hanger like around probably eight or something. That's when I moved to Hanger, like eight or nine. I was, it was after me living here, I swear to God. So most of the shit I learned started right here. I ended up moving to Hanger, some shit like that. And then after living in Hanger and getting a spell from the other school that I went to that was in that district, we ended up, my mom ended up finding a house for my uncle or something, all the way on the other side of Fush. It, just, uh, it ain't even that far. It's really like 10 minutes that way. You know what I'm saying? And shit. When I was living over there, I was just all the way down here fighting this shit. This is the street everybody fought on. On me. This is the street everybody fought on, Pecan. It was a court and Pecan. So all the fights, was, more, most of them went down. The bitches went down everywhere. But like, most of the fights was on pecan. Tomorrow, you probably average. You gonna average fight. You gonna average fight three to four times a week on average. On average, you might leave the house three times because whenever I, whenever the sun came up, I was already out the house, gone. I wasn't coming back till the nighttime or the next day. I'm talking about young. I always been just gone. So, if, out of five, out of seven days. Three of those days, I was fighting while I was watching a fight. Or running from a fight, nigga. Cause nigga trying to jump me or something. It was always something, it was always some shit. Always some shit. Look at my brother Richie, man. man. Shop Talk Cash, man, talkcash.com. Take the L out, man, put the W in there. We winning over here, man. Yeah, no Talk Cash with a W, man. Talk Cash and move your ass. Talk Cash and move your ass. Man. Niggas really, uh, we out here grinding, man. Out here putting in work. Shout out my brother, DG Bow Boy. Shout out the boy, Richie, man. They putting in work out here grinding, shooting their music, talking about their story. Uh, the song is amazing. 
I want you guys to check it out. Check out the video whenever it drops. I am featured in the video. I am not featured in the song, but I'm in the video. And for people that don't know me, outside of just vlogging the dogs, you're going to be able to see a dip, my, my normal self. You know what I'm saying? Um, my natural and normal self when uh, you watch the video. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's important to watch the music videos because you actually get the how I am when how I am when I'm with my friends. And then you get the I'm on business. I'm being professional, talking about the dogs. You know what I'm saying? It's just just different side. So make sure you watch the video today. It's just a vlog day. So um, last night, you know, I had to, you know, the situation happened. And, you know, I had to go to the hospital and stuff like that. You know, go to the hospital and do that. And I'm good, y'all. I got my pain medicine shot. I'm out here spend time with my friends, man. Watching them perfect their craft, do stuff that they love to do, have fun. So it's just going to be a cool day. This ain't the only thing that's going to happen in, in today, so make sure you watch the whole video. That's the whole video. <laughs> Night just get started. I said, bro, go home. You can't record. I'm in the studio, no. my man. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Never check on the gang. Do the dash while I'm switching on lanes. Yo, yeah, we doing? Doing shit that they can't. Uh -huh. Time to check, going straight to the bank. Where we going? Quit starting the engine when I crank. Won't jazz me, Benjamin me, Frank. That's it. Keep shit with the gangs. Mama told me be safe, but I'm keeping it dangerous. Yeah. Let's go. Make sure you watch the whole video. I told y'all this vlog was gonna be amazing. We're in the studio, y'all know what's going on now. Yeah. 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 Appreciate everybody for coming out. Uh, showing love to me, my family, my sister. Uh, it's a celebration. It's not a feel, not a nothing. It's a home going that we celebrate. I don't say the F word. Uh, I just want to say again, thank everybody. Appreciate everybody. And a lot of love out here, man. A lot more love than I thought. I want to say thank you. Support for who we are. Come on now. Come <laughs> 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 oh, I missed the balloon. My eye. I can't see. I missed the balloon. I, I can't see. Oh man. Yeah. Man, I put like, like a whole hang on. Alright, man. RP, man. RP Chelsea, man. Damn. RP Chelsea, man. Where's the girl point? It's got a roll one. I'm vibing in that man. I got a roll one. Bad bitches out of Houston. We gon' roll one. No, my girl dirty had to pull one. Uh, where's it go? 